Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for spending some of your time here with me today and if you enjoy my video, I'd really love it if you would give me a thumbs up. Now, the sound on this video is going to vary. The first section where I'm actually talking to you as I'm doing the process is um, going to sound a little different to when I do a voiceover. This is the album that I purchased and this is what I am aiming to make. I bought this um, concertina album so it opens out like this and I wanted to put a hinge or a binding on the back here so that it just opened like a normal book. So what I did was I took this piece, a piece of cardstock, this is like a handmade paper, I don't know whether that's such a good choice, it might be a bit too frail but anyway I'm going to try it. And I've cut this so that it's 10 inches by the length of my pages and in the, this particular book the pages are 7 and 3 quarter inches long and I've got 7 pages in here like I'm counting that as one page, two pages, three pages, four pages, five pages, six pages, seven pages. So seven pages like that. Now, um, with my piece that's ten inches long, I started at one and a half inches. Start this side. One and a half inches and I scored. And then I scored every half an inch. So I've got one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, and eight and a half. Disregard that one there, I don't need that one. And that leaves me an inch and a half there and an inch and a half there. And it gives me, and then I folded it, mountain valley, mountain valley, like that. And so that gives me something that looks like a concertina. Now, the aim is to go to the back of the book and this is the front because that's where my tie closure is. So I bought this um, album at um, Cheapest Chips so if anybody in Australia wants to use the same one well that's where I got it from. And the actual book um, is, well the pages are seven and three quarter inches tall and oh, what would that be? The cover is six inches by well, nearly eight and a half. But what I'm going to do now is this will go here, and then if I stand that up like that, you might be able to see it a bit better. So the hinge is the same size, the same depth as the page, so I'm going to simply do this. So that all of my pages will be hinged. Okay. And then this one and a half inch will be stuck to that and that one and a half will be stuck to that. So that what will happen then is I'll have a book that will open like this. While I'm doing that, and I think it might be a little bit tricky, but what I want to do also is stick along the bottom of the page so that I end up with all these top opening pockets. So each page is a top opening pocket. So the trick is going to be <coughs> using the glue and getting that all stuck in place. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. Try and get it to all stick in there as I'm going. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty fiddly. So let's start. Firstly, oh, firstly I need to put a row of... Uh, will I use glue? Yeah, I'll use glue, I think. But a row of glue along the bottom. And a row of glue along here. 
because this one is extra long I'm going to put a row of glue along that edge as well so that it and then I'm going to pop that over there like that <coughs> put a bit more glue here so that when I fold that over onto there I've got a full stick and I'm going to use my bone folder So that should I said also put a row of glue along there. This one has to get stuck in there and there. Okay, so now we're going to run a bead of glue along here. Fold that into there. And push that into place. This one has to have a row uh, there because that's going to make that pocket there. So now a bead of glue along the bottom and along this whole section. pocket. Very good. And so I'm going to continue across doing all of the others in the same way. So now this one will go over onto there. like that. Okay, I'll do this one more and then I'll do the rest off camera. 
because it's going to be the same all the way across for the whole seven pages I think it is down there. We want to fold this over. Check that we're lining everything up. Press everything into place and burnish. On. and this is the top and we've got our pockets very good all right okay I'm going to go ahead and finish that off and then I'll come back so here we have it completed and um, I've attached all of the binding now and I've got a book that opens out nicely and each um, one of those pages has a little pocket in the top and I've got a place there where I can put everything including the back and front page or should I say the front and back cover I'm now going to make some other alterations to my um, album to start with I've cut some tags to go into each one of those pockets and I've cut the tags four and three quarter inches by seven and a half inches I cut nine of those in total I'm going to add some fold out pages to my album so I've cut some pieces of cardstock um, five and three quarters by seven and three quarters thinking that I want a five inch page so I'm going to score each one of those papers at five inches so that will give me a page five inches by seven and three quarters when it's fixed into the book so once I've scored my paper cardstock um, I fold it and burnish it and then I'm going to use my uh, art glitter glue to attach that to the outside edge of one of my pockets. Now when I do this I'm going to be careful to make sure that I get everything lined up perfectly. I want the edge to be level, the top to be level and the bottom to be level. I'm using liquid glue because that gives me the opportunity to wiggle things around and get them in place before the glue can set and I've got that little bit of room to move. I use my bone folder to burnish everything and also to make sure that I re-burnish the creases to make sure that everything's going to be nice and flat. So I'm going to do the same thing once again. I'm going to do this, I'm going to have four of these um, fold out pages in, throughout my book. But just to reiterate, the paper, the cardstock is five and three quarters by seven and three quarters. I score it at five inches and um, score it nicely. If press it down with my bone folder, then use my art glitter glue, decide where I want it and um, attach it to the outside edge of the page. You could attach it to the inside edge and have it folding out from the centre too if you wanted to, but I've gone for the outside edges on mine. This particular page that I'm doing now, I actually did one on each side, so I've got like a double fold out um, page there. But once I've got the glue on and the page in position, making sure that I've got it nicely lined up, and the top and bottoms are level and um, I use my bone folder burnish it into place and then um, I'm happy with the, the way that looks so as I said I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm going to end up with four of these fold out pages in my book another element that I wanted to put into my um, journal or my album is some fold over booklets so I'm going to put like the back part of this will be inside of the pocket at the top and the front will hang over the page so I've simply cut 
um, an A4 sheet so that it's far, uh, four and three quarter inches wide and then I'm scoring and folding it in halves. I found actually that um, I, I scored the first one but in reality I didn't score the um, others. I can't remember how many I made, maybe two or three. But I didn't worry about scoring those. I just folded them in halves and then um, burnished it with my bone folder and I found that that was just as good as scoring it because with this first one I made I actually scored it in the wrong spot but anyway it worked out okay and um, so I'm got that's all I'm going to do for those they're just little booklets that uh, can sort of clip into the top pocket and half of it will hang out and half of it will be in the pocket so I went ahead and did as I said two or three of those I can't remember how many I'm going to add a couple of pockets in my book and so I cut two pieces of black cardstock that were six and three eighths by three and a half inches and I scored half an inch from each end. Because it was such a weird measurement six and three eighths I just flipped it around and scored half an inch from the end but that way made it easier than trying to work out which mark was which. Once I'd done that I folded those flaps in, added glue to each of the flaps and a little bead of glue across the bottom of the black section and then attached it to the bottom of my album making sure once again to line it up nicely and to make sure that I burnished it into place with my bone folder once I had it positioned correctly. Another element that I wanted to include in my little album is an envelope. So I'm going to make a 5 by 7 envelope and to do that I'm going to use my Envelope, uh, we are memory keepers I think it is, envelope punch board and I need a nine and a half inch square of cardstock and I have to start with my edge of my cardstock on the four inch mark. So to use this tool you line the edge of your cardstock up where, where it tells you to and you punch by pushing down on that blue button and then use the score tool to score along the crease that's in the bottom of the tool. You only have to line your edge up once because after that you line that blue pointy little thing that's near your punch thing um, up with the previous score line and then you just work your way around until you've got all four sides done. There is also a punch at the back so in a minute I'll turn this around and you will see that I will round the corners of all those pointy corners to finish the envelope, to finish the look of the envelope off. Once I've finished all that, I use, um, I fold up onto my score lines and use the bone folder to um, crease those nicely so that they sit nice and flat. Once I've got my um, folds reinforced, I'm going to use my liquid glue to attach the two side panels down under the bottom panel. Now I'm going to go back to my album, select a place where I want to attach my envelope. I'm going to fold the flap of the envelope to the back of the page that I want my envelope to fold over. So once I've decided where I'm going to put it, I add a liquid glue to the flap of the envelope and then attach that to the back of the page that the envelope is going to fold over. Once again I use my bone folder to burnish everything so that it sits nice and flat. So here's just a flip through of what my finished well my alterations to this album looks like. I'm going to decorate this in a 
different video and um, so I hope you'll join me for that but you can see I've got a variety of fold out pages booklets um, tucked into the top pockets pockets at the bottom of the um, page and uh, of course that envelope that folds out it can hold all sorts of things as well so yeah so that's my um, album for today I hope you've enjoyed watching my video and if you like it please give me a thumbs up that helps me tremendously and if you're not already a subscriber I'd love it if you would subscribe this um, was really um, quite easy and I encourage you that um, if you have a little album that you'd like to make some changes to especially if you've got an accordion album um, check you know have a go you can't lose really so thank you for being here and I hope you can join me for my next video